Alrighty, time for pickups. New pickups video. Um, as well at the same time, since it's in the game room, I already put everything up. Might as well get an updated game room video along with it. So first off, I got these off of eBay. Or not eBay, sorry, somethingawful.com. Guy was selling a few uh, Super Nintendo games, so I asked how much were they. He said $15 shipped. So I got four games, all for just $15. Mega Man 2, Mint Condition. Super Mario 3, Mint Condition. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mint Condition. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, Mint Condition, with just Ducky sticker. That is badass. Anyways, went to play and trade. Got another work time fun. I had the game, but I lost the actual UMD. So now I have the UMD. I just have two cases. But what? Shut up, Samson. Anyways, yeah, that is a fun, fun game for the PSP. Gotta try it out. Um, let's see what else. Went to play and trade today, and I found this. I believe this was seventeen dollars. It is awesome, dude. Comes, hold on, let me get this in the light. N64 boxed Zelda's Majora Mask with everything. Let's see here. Gonna pull out the game. Oh, manuals come out first. Yeah, $17. I got this bitch for it. What the fuck? That door was closed. How in the... God damn it! No! Cat invasion! Anyways. I gotta shut this before the naked one comes in. She's a bitch. Anyways. Gold cartridge. Uh, cartridge. Zelda. Majora's Mask. In mint condition. Fucking amazing. So yeah. That was great. That shit goes for... I saw... This whole set here for thirty to forty dollars on eBay, being sold. Not what they're going, you know, trying to go for, but what they have been sold for. Um, what else did I get? Oh yeah, play and trade again. Found this ASCII Nintendo licensed uh, fighter stick, arcade stick for um, the Super Nintendo. It's got a nice weight to it very responsive um, I just wish the gap between the buttons was a little bit larger cuz it's it's a pretty small unit dude I, I just got big man hands you know need big manly arcade sticks hmm. oh yeah play and trade again ten dollars Final Fantasy Origins mint condition no scratches um, I had a tub of RC parts where if you were to put it together I would I probably wouldn't even be able to sell it for $75 I mean it's 10 years old but um I put it on Craigslist with the hopeful price of $100 a kid traded it um, traded basically a boxed Atari 2600 heavy sixer early model for a big tub of RC parts that I just wanted to get out of my room. So yeah, very nice. Got ET in there, even though I dread playing it. I need to get the uh, coaxial adapter before I can. Get the uh, box, it's in rough shape, but I still like it as a display item. The joysticks and whatnot. Where's that great power cord? Oh, here you go. Got the old school uh, gray power adapter. And then you can see the serial number there. It's pretty low. I, I think they haven't been able to figure out what the suffixes mean yet. So, see, I believe that is it. These are all my pickups recently. Oh yeah, I got some con books up there using sticky tack, so don't damage them. 
You know, the same shit that you see holding up posters in fucking classrooms. Uh, 303, that poster is signed by Garth Ennis and Jake and Burroughs, who I believe did the art for 303. Badass comic. Actually, uh, own that rifle. Got the unopened, uh, Sega Multitap. I'm still debating whether or not I want to open it, because I really do want to use it for NBA Jam. Finally sold that on eBay for $75. Get that shit out of here finally. Got more comics. Bony Tony, I got that out of a Garbage Pail Kids pack. That's pretty cool. Radioactive Man, Losers, Hellboy, Hellblazer, Lone. Good stuff. We got a bunch of just bullshit. Old ammo cans. Uh, the big one holds old ammunition that I just have not used yet. And those are fireworks. Uh, Dreamcast keyboard. Comic books. Video game whatnots. More comics. Skull. Yep. Alrighty. I am out of here. I believe I've showed you everything possible. Cool. Bye-bye. Get the fuck out of here, Luke.